This is the MDRT Podcast. There are many reasons why advisors might have wanted to share reading material in 2020. They might be educating clients or seeking to provide emotional support. During a Zoom call on June 16th, Catherine from Singapore, Sarah Hogan from Manchester, UK, John Enright from Syracuse, New York, discussed what books they've shared recently and why they have made a difference. There was a book that was recommended to me from another MDRT member from Andy Mayer, who's in my peer group. And it's a lovely book. It's called The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse. And it's a short book. It's like handwritten illustrations, just a couple of lines on each page. And it's really about friendship and strength and believing in yourself and believing in your friends when you're going through a tough time. So we got a handful of these books and I sent one out to one of my clients who's been a client for about 10 years and she lost her husband a few years ago and had the odd family complication over recent years and bless her, she's now suffering with breast cancer. So she's had a really tough three or four years and I knew she'd be in isolation. So I'd already sent her a couple of things throughout and spoke to her a couple of times. And I sent this book out to her with some lovely writing paper, a handwritten note. There's nothing better than a handwritten note to anybody, be it a client or not. Sent that out to her and she rang me the day that she got the book. And as coincidence would have it, her niece, I think it was, had spoke to her that morning and recommended this book. And she thought, oh, I'm going to go out and get this book. And the postman came that day and dropped the book through the letterbox, which I'd sent to her. So she just could not believe the coincidence. And bless her, she was crying just from reading the handwritten note before she'd even got to the book. So she rang and she was just so appreciative of the fact that I'd thought of her and and knew what she was going through and that I'd taken the time to send it and taken the time to write her a little note to go with it. And, you know, that had taken, what, 10 minutes out of my day and it had absolutely made her feel so wonderful and so thought about. So I just think the one thing that will stay with me and resonates with me during this time is to just take that time to go that extra mile, be it for friends, be it for family, be it for clients, because... They really, really do appreciate it. Well, yeah, I recognized early on that that many families were dealing with something that they had never had to deal with before. And that was not only kids at home, but having to teach their kids. So we sent out a book called uh, Raising Financially Aware Kids. And then we provided Zoom meetings to assist parents in helping to teach kids about finances. And uh, that was extremely well received. But the whole idea behind it was just trying to help support some of these parents who were home with kids and having to teach them with additional content, but also with kind of a break from what had become their new norm. Before the talk now, I have given a book written by myself, working out of the financial maze to my clients. But she has got no time to read. But during the circuit breakers, she has not worked in the office, so she actually read my book and he says it's very, very motivated. This book is about my own uh, financial situation. I was at the verge of becoming bankrupt and how I actually fell down to the value of my life and picked up from there to build everything again from the scratch. So she actually found my book is very, very motivational and she was very, very happy to read that book. And she called me and thanked me for giving him a book like this. This episode is part of MDRT's podcast series about advisors adapting to the global health crisis and down market. If you'd like to subscribe, find us on Spotify and SoundCloud, and we'll see you next time.